Hello, what's up? Welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. And if you're like me, you are probably applying a lot of editing to your images. And that may be the cause for some heavy noise going on in your images. Now, if I zoom in here a little bit, you can see the noise is quite drastic in this one. So I want to use this video to show you a cool and easy way to remove the noise at least from the sky, like in this case, where the noise is probably the most problematic. So before I start, let me just say there are probably a ton of other ways to do it, but for me this works just really good and uh, gives me some good results as well. So what I'm doing for this method is first, since I have a nice clean sky without any clouds in it and have a nice contrast between the sky and the foreground, I can simply grab the quick selection tool right there and then roughly paint over the sky. And you can see Photoshop is doing a really great job at selecting the sky. And now I just want to make a copy of this selection. So I'm pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V to pass it. And if I turn off the bottom layer, you can see I now have a perfectly selected sky layer. And on this layer, I want to apply the noise reduction. And there's a really easy way to do it by simply using some blur. That means I can go to Filter, Gaussian Blur, or in this case I'm going with Motion Blur since I like the results better, but that's really up to you. And now if I activate the preview, you will see the edges of the sky layer will get blurred as well, which is a problem in this case, because this right here will overlap the mountains in the foreground and become really, really unnatural. To fix that, I can simply press down the control key and click on the thumbnail of the sky layer. And now I have a selection around this layer. And now if I go to filter, blur, motion blur again, the blur won't go outside of this selection anymore. So with the blur angle set to zero, so the blur goes from left to right or from right to left, in a horizontal angle and with a really really big distance I can apply this effect. Now I'm pressing Ctrl D to deselect it and I'm turning on the background layer again and now if I zoom in you can see the noise is gone from the sky. Let me turn off the sky layer. This is without the motion blur and this one is with motion blur. So that's it. I hope this was interesting and helpful. I know this can only be applied to certain situations, but it might be really, really helpful for some of you. So if you have feedback or have any questions about the editing, then please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.